I'm thinking about all those words from the 20s, and yeah. now I think, what are our contributions? We essentially, we have twerk. That's I like our that's contribution cool. to the lexicon. Like, really? Selfie. We got selfie. Sel and selfie. Got that selfie. was the, year, the word of the year for 2013. Yeah. yeah, so, okay. What do these folks have in common? Billy the Kid, Elvis Presley, and Dennis Rodman. Yeah, well, we need to turn to our own Joe Barlow to figure that out. Well, I'll tell you the answer here. They are all figures that caught the attention of an Urbana artisan, and he, d and, and he decided to put them on what else? Moonshine jugs. I've been drinking. Okay. Who is crazy? Dennis Rodman is crazy. Dennis Rodman gets a jug. He gets a jug because of who he is and because of how I kind of react to him. Dennis Rodman will soon join the ranks of those immortalized on moonshine jugs. A lot of the jugs I've done have been um, outlawed. They've been Billy the Kid or different people who are kind of in the West. Those people are interesting to me. Hugh Bridgeford could also be put on the list of interesting people. Not because he's an outlaw, but because of his background. Uh, designing uh, race driving games. In the 80s, Hugh worked in San Francisco for video game company Atari. These big arcade type systems uh, that you may still see today occasionally in a, in a mall or uh, in a, an airport. I worked on those systems uh, just before um, the Xboxes and those kind of systems came in. After a while, Hugh decided his life needed a change. He started teaching and took a pottery class. The clay was so tactile after all of this, these years of um, everything that I made existing only within the memory of the computer. Uh, there was never anything that I could touch or feel or, you know, it, it was kind of tangible in that sense. It was exciting for me to, to, to you know, to make something, to be able to feel the clay and have con direct control over it and not have to work through kind of layers that uh, I had been working through with the mouse and the computer. You can make many things out of clay, including a robotic owl. But you'll find him mostly making jugs and flasks. This is the kind of level of refinement that I came down to, uh, where I had this, this slight uh, kind of curvature on the outside. And, uh, this, uh, I want the, the handle to be really comfortable. I'd have to call it just um, following the money. I follow the money. and. Uh, are you okay with saying that? Yeah. I'm not exactly a potter. I'm not, I'm not interested so much in making functional pottery that people would use in their kitchen or something like that. And I'm not exactly an artist because I'm not exactly interested in going into galleries and having shows and stuff like that. Uh, so artisan is a term that kind of encompasses some overlap. Now Hugh has made over 350 jugs over the last four years. This is a very inexact science, getting enough uh, of this ink-like material on here, but not too much. When they appear on my jugs, they're not bad guys, they're not good guys. Our jugs are non-judging non jugs. They're just kind of a place to commemorate uh, that particular person who, was, who had that particular life. So the jugs are more of a way to say cheers to some historically misunderstood figures. But you may not see Hugh raising a glass. I think the most startling thing about me in the context of this business is that I don't drink. I mean, not kind of flat out don't drink, but I really drink. I really drink at all. Any knowledge I claim to know about liquor is faked completely. There you go. Does that feel good to get that out there? I do. I feel I've confessed. I've done my confession now. And I, yeah. <laughs> Is this one of those shows? <laughs> <laughs> now it is, yeah. Now it That's... is. Now it is. <laughs> yeah. Good times. That's cool. Good times, good jugs, and uh, I'll put a link to his Etsy site where you can buy all of his stuff. And you know what he said? He said, I know we don't have time for this, but he said he sells a lot of his jugs in, uh, in Europe.
No kidding. So wow. come on, wow. Illinois. He does buy. do custom work. Uh, he could if you really wanted okay. to. Okay. Check Good out deal. that link. Time to announce today's CI giving winner. Mm. It's a prize valued at twenty-five dollars to go see the women. It is. Congrats. Um, Basketball team. I'm blowing through it. Congratulations to Jay Parker Pierce of Danville. Be sure to come to your uh, to the.